All right, I want to show you what I've come up with. It's literally been like maybe 10 minutes worth of rubbing this bat with uh, vinegar and rock salt and a battery charger. I have a scotch Bright sponge locked into here. My battery charger going up on high on start mode. And I've just been rubbing this frame down. It's like a magic eraser. The frame I've had soaking in vinegar for a couple days, but I decided to try the battery charger today and what well, was taking forever. Now, mind you, the temperature is below freezing here. It's below 32 degrees. It's snowing like hell outside. And the vinegar, the chemical reaction doesn't really work well unless it's up to 70 degrees. I don't know if you can see what's going on out here. It's a winter wonderland. But with the battery charger going, man, you can't beat these results. Let's see if I can't show you a spot. We'll come right up here. Let's see if I can't hit a fresh spot for you. Get my little slurry mixture of vinegar. It's nasty, it's full of rust. The one sponge I've been using. I like to use gloves with this. You can see what's going on here. that is rust is just literally wiping right off of this thing every time I go across it it's a little more and a little more Sorry about the sucky cell phone video, but that's what I got. Find me a rag here real quick. Wipe some of this rusty water off. I really should have my gloves on. Vinegar's nasty. Can't barely see. It's so shiny. Almost like the day from the factory. Now, I'm sure some of this is paint left over. I already gone through the whole frame with a wire wheel once. Knocked all the rough stuff off, and I had a needle scaler knock the thick off. Needle scaler took a lot. I mean, we were talking like a quarter inch of buildup. At one point, when I first started, I took off over 40 pounds of rust with the needle scaler. And then the vinegar and the wire brush. Did a lot, but the electrolysis, I've never seen anything like it.